Hi, I'm Lauren from LSP Actions and welcome to the video tutorial for the LSP Angel Wing digital background. This one is heart. If you've purchased other digital backgrounds, the other Angel Wings, um, you can go ahead and watch those tutorials too. But I do recommend watching video one, which is the overview tutorial where I go through um, that you need your layers panel open, opening up into Photoshop and a little bit of information about these digital backgrounds. These digital backgrounds were created using a combination of my um, own photography, hand editing and AI. So some areas, uh, especially backgrounds in these images, have been AI uh, created, meld between several AI images. So there will be um, that AI vibe about these, but I actually really quite enjoy it. So these will print really big. Um, the heart is um, eight, over, over eight and a half thousand pixels tall. It will print very, very big. Um, I do recommend printing on a textured uh, media such as canvas for these just because of that very, very smooth feel that it has at the moment. So make sure you can see your layers panel. Click on here, it will already be selected for you, but if not, click on the place your subject here or above. You'll see above this you have a shadow over subject and under this you have a shadow over subject. Sorry, lost my mic there for a second. So under this, um, the shadow over and above, these are layer masks. A black layer mask means hide and a white layer mask means show. So if you click on the black layer mask, grab a brush set to white, you can paint this on um, to your image. But we're not gonna do that right now. Right now, you're gonna click on place your subject here. If you already own the LSP overlay applicator actions, they don't come with the wings, but if you own these ones, you can come here to add subject. Or if you're, um, doing it by hand you can come up here to file and choose place embedded so go ahead and locate the image you're going to add on your computer i'm doing this manually right now do pay attention to the uh the direction of the light it's coming from the left in this image and it also is in this overlay so that's absolutely fine if you're applying by hand take the opacity down a little bit so you can place and resize your subject if your subject's pointing in the wrong direction for the light you can choose right click flip horizontal and when you're happy with your subject placement, you can go ahead and bring the opacity back up. That's on your layers panel. If you're using an old version of Photoshop um, or Elements, what you're going to need to do is come down and add a layer mask, little icon down the bottom, a rectangle with a circle, change your brush, brush to black and start painting away the background around your subject. You may need to zoom in quite close to get this, um, especially around the hair. If you're using Photoshop Creative Cloud, there is an easier way. You can come up here to select and choose subject or use the actions. They do all of this for you. So Photoshop's just figuring out that subject selection. You can also come up here to select and choose select and mask. And what this will do, um, it will just give you a few refining options on your subject selection. So you see it doesn't look so great around the hair here. So you can grab the refine brush or click the refine hair option. I'm just going to bring this refined brush, actually the main brush, and I'm just going to add in here because um, for some reason this selection has taken away part of her eye and we don't want that to be happening. And I'm going to go ahead and grab the, the refine brush which is up here, refine edge and just bring this over the hair a little bit more. Depends on which version of Photoshop you're using, depends on Photoshop's mood on the day I find, but you can generally make quite a good hair selection there. You might need to refine just a little bit more when it comes onto your digital. So you see you have a subject selection, you can come down to the layer mask option, little rectangle with a circle and click it and that will add um, a black, it will black out the background and just add white to where your subject is. And what I recommend doing at this point is coming in and just refining any areas of that selection if needed. Next up, we're going to be want to adding some shadow to your subject. So grab your brush set to white, nice and soft, and we're going to add some shadow over the subject. This is great if your subject is um, lit a little bit differently or needs darkening. So I'm just going to darken up on one side here. If for some reason the shadow over the subject is not clipped on, so which means it will affect the whole image, you can right click and choose create clipping mask. It's important when adding a subject you click on this orange layer, place your subject here. Your subject might not land on the layer but it will land in the right place if you do that. If you're new to um, compositing in Photoshop you can find lots of tutorials on YouTube that are really really helpful. 
Next up, I'm going to add some shadow underneath the subject. And what I like to do is grab the brush and squeeze it down using this option. So you right click and you can just squeeze it down a little bit. And what we'll do, this will give you kind of a nice shadow shape. So you can see I'm just clicking that about the place. If you shot your subject on a similar um, background, what you can do is you can very, very gently, it's going to go back to a normal soft round brush, very, very gently bring a little bit of your original background in. Use black to hide and white to show. So switch between black and white a few times. I like to keep my finger, my index finger, on the X key of the keyboard. And you can see here that switches between black and white on your brush. And what that does, it will just add a little bit of natural shadowing in. Let's just darken that up too. It just helps blend your subject with the background a little bit more. So we'll see there before and after. There are lots and lots of things you can do with these digitals. This is a simple way to add a subject. You can add a lot more editing layers. If you just click on your subject, you can add any adjustment layers here. For example, levels just to brighten her up a little bit. And if it's not already clipped in on your subject, just right click and choose uh, create clipping mask. So that's a quick overview of how to use the, um, the Angel Wing Heart Layer Digital Background. I hope you love this one. And you can watch the next tutorials for how to use the, I'm just going to add a little bit of shadow, how to use the other literally Angel Wings um, digitals that are on the website. Adding a little bit of shadow there just behind her. So what that's doing, it's affecting the wings behind. I'm just dabbing that on just to blend. It's all about blending. If you can get the blending and the light direction right, then you're winning with a digital background. Enjoy. I'm Lauren, thanks for watching.